everybody, 47 Mark Four here, back with another episode of Absolute Immersive. Man, that tank farm is looking nice. And you know, I want to work in it today. Uh, I want to try to get rid of all of this grass. Yes, it's asphalt day. <laughs> I love it. I also want to make a bunch of concrete too, because I think I need that. But I wanted you to take a look at what I've learned overnight. So if I come over here to our, you know, kind of sort of river, uh, I learned more about this fluid great thing, right? That guy down there. Oh, I wonder if I can jump out on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the name of this guy? I keep forgetting. Uh, the fluid outlet. So you can see I put three fluid outlets right here because they have a range. And so I don't know what this is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven blocks in diameter or in radius, uh, I'm going to guess. And that's what's happening is it can fill source blocks only out to that distance. Well, you know what? I say seven that way, but it doesn't look like it made it all the way this way. I don't know. I just keep picking these guys up and moving them around. So we're going to need a lot more pipe to get that guy done. I was hoping it was just going to be fill, fill, fill forever. But you know what? It's a mission now. We're just going to keep moving it. Uh, I also, if I come over here, oh, if you can see, the pipeline is now doubled up. So I ran the uh, diesel all the way from the tank farm. I popped it up and all the way around, and then I doubled it up on our pipeline. And, you know, I kind of like that look. I think that looks nice. And then if I come in here, I move the generator. So this is going to be gen number one, and I got room for another generator right here. And we're going to do something different with power. But I've had to do a bunch of connectors in and a bunch of connectors out to be able to get maximum power because each one of these can only transmit so much, but the line itself can transmit more. So let's see, this guy's off at the moment, and that guy's running. Let's just check to see how the filters are doing. Oh, well, I'm glad I came in here then. Uh, you're still doing okay, because we got to refresh these things. We need to get off from, you know, plant or oil-based power uh, and on to something else, because, man, this thing takes a lot of maintenance, right? Like, I'm going to have to make more filters, but we just don't have the diamonds. It'd be nice to be able to find some. All right, uh, let's see. That guy is still working on that guy is still working on nickel. Uh, and, you know, I think the first thing I want to do is I want to wire up some refined storage. So let's go over here. I've got a chest. And, man, I'm going to run myself out here by running. Uh, and I want to get refined storage over here so I don't have to run back and forth. And, you know, I kind of want to take it from the base. Like, i got a plan here. So I've got immersive cables that gives me the refined storage cables, and I got a couple of crafting grids. I got refined relays. Oh, we're probably going to have to make more of these refined transformers. But you know what? We can do it in the base. Uh, I'm going to need two. No, I'm going to need three. I'm going to need three. All right, so let's go back to the base. You know, I've got a cable hidden inside that column, but I kind of want to I want to learn about this, and I want to put uh, grids in two places. So let's see. Let's come over here, and we'll get inside this guy. I want to put one over there. So I'm going to need one of those uh, refined whatever, refined transformers. Yeah, so I need one of these blocks. Okay, not that hard. And yeah, no, I should have all this stuff. All right. So if this works the way I think this works, uh, I'm going to need a hole. And I really don't like having a hole, but I don't think I have any other choice. All right, so I'm going to stick that there. So I think these are just relays. And this is the actual connector block. Like it lit up. And so I think I can do something like this, maybe. Yep. All right. And that runs it out of the house. And then let's kind of run it over here. Uh, I probably need to find the right spot for a hole inside. So let's see. Uh, I kind of want the grid right here. So I really, I really don't like popping holes and things, but whatever. We got to make it work, right? Anything to make it work. So let's see. I'll do that. I think that'll be the spot. And then... We will link our coil all the way over. Man, it's already sandwich time. Okay, let's get this dude over here. And I guess I'll pick that guy up. And can I get up there? Yeah, I can. Ugh. I must have my magnet off. There we go. All right, so we got a hole there. I'm not really crazy about this, but it doesn't do the connector thing. I got to think about this. Well, you know what? Uh, let's, let's run a little test here. Do you still follow the logic? Can I put... I guess I can do it this way. Can I put something in your way? No, you still follow that logic. Darn it. I was hoping that you know, it was the old one where you could add, uh, you know, blocks in front of the wires. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, I think I got it. I'm not sure I got it. 
Uh, no, I didn't get it. Okay. There we go. Uh, ooh, nope. There we go. All right. So let's get our grid inside. I wanted to do this one first because it's a good short distance test. Right? So let's see. Uh, well, I could do it like this. So I'll set you there as a backstop, and then I can set that guy there. We'll take this one out. Uh, let's be careful with the power wires. Let's be careful. So then I need a refined transformer, and it should, this should just work. Oh, nice, nice! I so love running refined storage like that. That's awesome. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Let's pop a hole on the other side. And you know what we'll do is we're gonna use this pole right here. Uh, so I'm gonna pop a hole on that side. Let's get our hammer because I haven't been real good about doing this. So uh, right about there, right? And that'll be the spot. All right, so cables are all run, and you know, it's kind of gross, but I'll probably clean it up later. So I ended up taking this guy because you can only put one on a thing, right? And I was thinking maybe I need to do multiples. I don't know. So I went up to a relay first so I could, didn't have to stretch it all the way across. Like I went up there, but then this guy couldn't reach from the backside, whatever, right? This is what I'm saying, clean it up. So that one goes out there. Now these cables aren't as long as I had hoped for. I couldn't make it from there to there. That was the original plan. Like I, these feel like an LV cable. So, you know, I had a plan for a nice straight line. Like I got it straight ish. So we'll come over here to the end of the line. And this gives me refined storage capability all along this thing. I can just tap into it. So over here, we got ourselves a crafting grid and let's see, I can throw my transformer on it. Grab myself a wire. We'll come up here. Bang. Nice. And yeah, it's online. Nice, right? So this is uh, display normal, sorting direction. Yeah, it's this one. There we go. I know I have to set something every time, so I can get rid of you dudes. Nice. Oh, yeah, and feathers. Okay, cool. We now have refined storage. Now, I am going to make wireless, but, you know, we don't exactly have the extra power for wireless at the moment, right? Like I'm having to run extra generators. All right, so next thing. Dudes, check out these things right here. So this is... Uh, redstone gauges and switches like these things are levers they're absolutely amazing like i'm not sure there's a whole bunch of old style there's like you know that's a, a, a disconnect from a control cabinet right on off buttons the big old knife switch the big lever like these things are awesome i think i want to use one of these for the pump jack uh pump jack you feel like this guy right here so let's just kind of replace this Right, and uh, there we go. Uh, it's a little small. It's a little small, but it'll work. I don't know, let's, uh, let's try one other thing because it always looks better kind of in place. I do like the buttons. Oop, don't, don't mess up the blocks. I do like these buttons. And so I would have to invert redstone control to make this dude work, right? So I could do that and then I can hit the button and say, oh, turn on, you know? That's pretty nice right there. I like that a lot. It's these little touches that make stuff. All right. So uh, as you can see, we have, I have changed up this setup quite a bit. So I'm still pumping oil and I'm probably going to leave this pump here permanently because when it taps out, it's still going to make like four millibuckets a tick, right? That's the way that works. And then I had to pump into all these tanks and I'll go up here to my observation platform. So I got all these tanks and I pumped them in parallel. So they're all filling and I'm draining them in parallel because in series really wasn't fast enough. And this is kind of why I put this up here so I could just kind of check on tank status, right? They don't exactly fill evenly, but whatever. I did like having them in series because it was a nice look. Uh, dude, could I get down the ladder? Thank you. But whatever, as long as it works. So that's all coming out and then it's all going here. And now that it's in parallel, this keeps this thing just chocked right full. And the problem I have is actually emptying this fast enough and keep it up on power. But, you know, we'll take care of that. So over here, we've got our original lane of lubricant, which is a couple of tanks. Gasoline, I expanded out, and all of this is going to be diesel. So right now we're on four full tanks of diesel, like 2,000 buckets, and working on this one just from this one thing over here. I mean, right now we're running on biodiesel power, you know, while we build this. Now, I did have to get rid of, I did have to get rid of the, uh, bar, uh, not bucket barrel that was over here and I had to replace it with this guy because yeah we've made a lot of this stuff and I mean a lot and this is what I need I need this for asphalt so we're going to make ourselves an asphalt plant and I think I'm going to want to put it 
I think I'm going to put it right here because I can take out of that guy, right? I can just move this dude up here. And I mean, this is a pretty good spot. I got power. We got just about everything we need. All right. So let's see. I'm going to drop off the refined storage stuff because we don't need that. Let's put, uh, let's put these dudes away and we'll pick up the rest of this stuff. So you guys, you guys, uh, you, you, you. And I don't need those and these things. Okay. All right. So here's what I want to do. I want to get asphalt and concrete. And let's do these one at a time. So asphalt right here, uh, asphalt concrete. So there's a couple of different ways to make it. And you know what? I've got the slag and I've got the gravel and we certainly have the bitumen. So we're going to go this way, I think. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. So to do that, I'm going to want myself an assembler. So let's get an assembler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this dude. Uh, and I think I'm going to set this box down because I like to. And projector. Now, we've already built one of these, so this shouldn't be that bad, right? This shouldn't be that bad. All right, looking at you. I wish I could see the conveyors. Oh, I can see them. All right, so I always want it running kind of this way. And, you know, you're going to need the bitumen, so we probably should put you down here so our conveyor run isn't that long, right? Um, yeah, right there. I think that's a good spot. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right. So let's get everybody all moved around and, you know, we'll rip this dude right out because it's just not that hard of a build, right? You, you, and you, and then redstone, redstone, and you're not a heavy, you're a light, right? You're a light engineering block and another light engineering block. And then you guys are sheet metal. So sheet metal. And then it's just uh, conveyors, I think, and then a little bit more sheet metal. Or is this one the sheet metal slabs? Because I don't have those. Are you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, going to have to make sheet metal slabs. All right. Well, hold on just a second. All right. So this guy's all together. Just a quick whack here somewhere. Oh, yeah, it was on the conveyor, right? A quick whack. You know what? The conveyor turned on me there. Hold on a second. I had it the other way around. I 100% know I did, right? Like when I clicked on it, ah, you know, that's frustrating because I'm sure it was going the other way. Okay, so all fixed. That wasn't that hard. I just had to uh, change things around a little bit. So let's see. You're going to assemble, right? You're going to assemble and you take liquids somewhere. You take liquids right there. So we're going to have to do a couple of things here. Uh, I should have a sink because we're going to need water and I'm going to need myself a bucket right? Because I'm going to have to make myself a infinite water source. And I guess, I guess I'll do it right here, right? So that should, oop, that should work. Yeah, 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 that should work. And do I have a pump with me? Yes, I do. So let's grab the pump and you know, that block actually wasn't in a bad spot because I'm going to have to put a lever on it. And oh man, do we have all the levers we could use now? Uh, so I'll put you right there. And where's my toolbox? Let's get power on this guy. And I'm going to need power connectors anyway, so let's grab relays. Uh-oh, uh that's not supposed to be there. That's supposed to be here. And HV wire. Ah, uh, we're already filling up. Okay, so let's get our pump going because i got to pipe you in, right? So you're going to need to be out. And do I have pipe on me too? No, I was just going to say, i got to have more than two, right? So right there, so you can fill up with water. Cool. And where's your power tap? Dunde esta the power tap. Uh, hello? Do I not? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's on top. Uh, that's not terrible. You know what? We'll power it afterwards because this, I got to figure out a little bit. So this guy, right, I'm going to extract out of this. And I was hoping that this guy could take some sort of redstone control. Mm, because that dude is just going to extract like crazy. And do I have to have one of those? Do I have to? Uh, let's see. If I do that, yeah, so you are just going to be a problem to get stuff in and out of because you're just going to constantly send. And I don't think I can get a redstone, you know, connector or anything in any of these spots. Uh, you know, I got to play with it here. Okay, so I've got it all conveyored up now, and I'm not, I'm not super crazy about this solution. I'm not. So I stuck a lever down there, right? Like, maybe it'll work. I don't know. All right, so let's get ourselves asphalt concrete getting made. So I'm going to need, I want to use slag and gravel, 
right? And that's not that hard. All right, so I've got, let's go over here because uh, we've got a whole bunch of slag in the steel building because, you know, I've just been collecting it up, so we might as well take advantage of it. So right over here, I don't know, I've got like, well, how many? Uh, a whole bunch. I've got a whole bunch. Uh, excuse me. Thank you. Man, I probably stopped, stopped throwing those eggs because I'm making it worse on myself. Was one of those? Yeah, one of those wasn't as full as the other. Let's see. I'm going to take this dude. Okay, so I've got like 1,500 slag, and we'll go pick up some gravel from a fine storage. And, you know, I've got a wonder here. I wonder if I can just hook these guys in because, you know, I'm going to have to get a... Uh, a barrel full of gravel, I think. And I know it shows I only got 64, but you know, we got plenty. So let's come over here because I've got a thing that's been, I've been wondering about. Let's come over here. I wonder if I can hopper into this guy because that's the only in, right? So can I do that? Is that a viable thing? And I'll put one of my slag barrels on. Dude, it's totally viable. It's totally viable. All right, just got to grab a lever. Okay, so I think I got this dude all figured out. Like, it's ugly, but it should totally, totally work. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to want a barrel for exiting products. I should have I should have water in here. Oh, we got to probably put a lever on that dude. Did I put a lever over here? Yeah, but I took it away. Okay, so uh, I grabbed myself a whole bunch of levers because I am always, always out of levers. All right, so your water... And uh, let's get our recipe in here. So asphalt, you, uh, uh oh, can you not, uh, can you not go in here? Well, that's kind of odd, right? Is it because I got multiple recipes? Maybe I gotta do it by hand here. All right. Well, let's. Uh, oh, uh, wires. All right. Let's go get some supplies then. Let's grab some supplies. So I'm gonna need some of you and some of you, and uh, you know, with the water. Like, it should be able to do this, but, all right, well, let's figure it out here. Oh, I guess I can't do it while looking at it. Okay, so, right here, slag in the corners. All right, I gotcha. And I need some, oh, I need some bitumen. Let's get some of that stuff loaded in, right? Okay, so let's do this. Let's get slag in the corners. Uh, so, let's see, you, 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 and you, something like that. Bitumen, no, bitumen went top and bottom, right? And then gravel went here and here. And can I get a water bucket? And maybe I can do something like that. Really? Oh, no, it's uh, it's not that. Back up. It's, why can I not drag you in there? Hmm, that's really odd. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay, asphalt concrete. Woo, that had me super nervous. Oh, that's where my nullifier went. All right, so I can chuck you in there. And let's put our stuff back in here. So let's see. You, thank you. And boop, boop. Nope, nope. You know, I gotta, I gotta face these guys a little bit more. So I could probably put all these together, tie them all together on redstone control, and that should be it, right? There you go. It's cranking away, and we should be making ah uh, asphalt. Oh man, I am gonna make this stuff super fast. Like I've already got two stacks. Holy cow! So this is probably all gonna come down to how fast I can feed things like gravel in there. Okay, so I probably don't need, I probably don't need any more bitumen. Holy cow, this is a fun process right there. Okay, turn you off, but we're going to have to just make drawers and drawers of this stuff, but at least I got the process to go ahead and assemble it for me. So that was, that was eight stacks right there. Holy cow, oh, because it's still assembling from what it has in inventory. Uh, it could just hold them, yeah, it'll just hold them right there. Okay, so next thing, the next thing that I want to make uh, let's see. I get the book right here. I want to make myself a mixer. So let's see right here. And uh, I better look at the mixer in the book. Where is the book? There it is. So let's see mixer right here. So stop. If I'm looking at it, I'm looking at the output, right? I'm looking at output and that puts the power. Uh, no, that puts the power in an okay spot, right? And then let's see what we got. We've got input. So that's water. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I'm looking at it, I mean, it should work. It should work, right? No, like right there. Was that the original? Oh, man. Uh, now I don't know which way was which. Well, we're just going to go with this one. 
because I think that was it. All right, let's get this dude built because I haven't really made the mixer for anything. This will be another new one for me that, you know, it's just, uh, do I need things mixed? Now there is another way to make concrete, but there isn't a more fun way to make concrete. You know, let's, uh, let's make pourable concrete and let's go pave the world. Nope, you're not right. You are one of those and one of these. And then let's see, what am I looking at? Sheet metal, okay. We can get the sheet metal. So you, 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 and you, and then uh, it's gonna be that dude. And, oh yeah, the one lonely steel fence. Like, there you go. Uh, was that not it? Was that not it? Oh no, I scrolled off. Uh, I gotta get my drill back in. And I scrolled off this dude, okay. Oh, nope, that was it, okay, all right. I didn't see the green box, didn't know. So let's get this guy, no idea where to whack this one. So, up oh, right there. Oh, and we got it right. We got it right. Uh, exit pipage. Yeah, because I want to fill this guy with water too. So I can just drag this pipe across and do that, right? And we'll get exit right here. I just don't like the stuff being right by the power, but whatever, we can do it. So let's get you some power, right? Right up there. And then how do you work? So are you another thing like concrete? Uh, let's see, concretia, concrete. So somewhere over here, yeah, liquid concrete. So it's those things plus water. So it doesn't look like it accepts recipes. Okay, all right, well, I can deal with that. Now, hopefully you're gonna make an absolute ton uh, and we probably ought to take you out to a tank, right? So let's do this. Uh, let's put up a tank. Do I have this dude? Are you set on tank? Uh, I think you are. So. I don't know, let's see, that's even, and that's a space. So let's do that, okay, cool. Done, tanks, built. <laughs> that is the most awesome way to build things. And then we'll just get this dude piped in. All right, so almost there, got the whole thing wired in, you know, cleaned up, piped up. So let's try this guy. So it is, oh no, are you putting water in the tank? Oh man, you're putting water in the tank. Only output, output all fluids. Ah, uh, I don't like that at all. Oh, I don't like that at all. All right, well, drain the tank, disconnect the pipe. Uh, all right, so we're gonna have to figure out something else. Let's at least make this stuff. So it should be you, and then it should be two sand and a gravel, right? Like, that should be it. Uh, let's take a look, concrete. I'm probably gonna have to drag some water out of this guy. Oh no, it's making it, it's making it. So maybe I'm gonna make this whole stack uh, let's see, liquid concrete, 500 mil buckets. So maybe I'm gonna make this whole stack and then we can output it to something else, right? Output only bottom fluid. So yeah, yeah, let's grab a bucket and oh, we're running out of time so quickly. Uh, let's grab a barrel and I can fix this stuff up in a minute. So one barrel right there and hopefully it doesn't have anything in it. And we'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of nastily pipe this thing. So. You don't have, yeah, you're empty. Okay, we'll grab, no, not you. I need more pipage, pipe. Thank you, over here, right? So there's one bucket of liquid concrete, perfect. Uh, let's grab this bucket, let's get this. And yeah, let's run for our lives back to the house. All right, so morning is upon us. I think all the zombies are dead now. I think I killed them all but we're probably got one or two to sneak up on us. Now, overnight, I had a pretty good thought about this guy right here that, you know, we can solve our problem with a fluid router, right? So just get the liquid concrete coming over to this tank and I'll turn this dude back on. I don't need that there. I probably, uh, you know, I probably could fill that up, but I don't need to. Anyways, this is what I wanna do. Just making sure there's no mobs. So let's experiment with liquid concrete. So a bucket, a liquid concrete, I'll throw you in there. You should harden right? You should harden into a block of concrete. And this could be fun for making channels and ducks and kind of stuff. Like, ah, uh, we'll let you harden. Let's grab another bucket because I also remember one of the properties of this. So let's make a two block and I'll stick you in there and I'll let you flow, right? And you should settle up and there it is, right? So this guy has made a regular block of concrete. Uh, and actually you made a whole bunch of blocks. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, no, I don't want to do this. Hold on. This was a tunnel I was thinking about. And you know what? Oh, dudes. 
dudes, I did not know. I didn't know that if you formed a column, if you formed a column, you got all that concrete. Like, really? Uh, hold on a second. Can I, can I vein mine you? Oh man, I got 15 pieces of concrete out of that one bucket. And how about you? Uh, this doesn't work the way I remember it. Hold on. More testing is needed. More testing. So let's go, let's go four blocks here. Oh, not you. Let's go four blocks because I might have just found a way to get a lot more concrete. Like I didn't know this was the way it worked, right? So we'll just let you pour down. And uh, I probably shouldn't have, I probably shouldn't have that second hole there, right? So it should just be going down. Yeah, there's no good way to see that. Okay, this is what I was expecting. Concrete chunks, right? So out of one bucket, I got four concrete chunks, which doesn't really show you. Uh, it's probably like one of those kind of size, but they're like custom size slabs. And you're a concrete chunk. And then, oh, it made chunks all the way down. It made, oh, it made chunks all the way down. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get all of all of that. Okay, and then it made me right it made me more concrete there uh and then i guess i gotta go clean that stuff up well that's not that hard but now i've got a pretty good idea on how to make a ton of concrete for cheap 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 we're just gonna pour it down in the hole so i think i'm gonna call it here for today that's a really fun day so i'm 47 mark 4 this was absolute immersive if you enjoyed the episode hit that like button uh leave me a comment let me know what you think and then i will see you in the next episode